What's up guys, my name is Calvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you a species of true widow that I found back in October and show you the progression of where she is at now. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so before I progress any further into this video, I wanna be able to take out this adult female, Latrodectus mactans, commonly referred to as a Southern Black Widow. Now, she is a wild one. She is not captive bred. I found her back on October 16th of this year. Uh, now, I have held her before, uh, but this is actually my very first time holding her as an adult female. And so let me see if I can get her to crawl into my hand. Oops. Oh, and she fell. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, oh, and there she goes again. Let me see if I can um, get her to just kind of stay because she's a little rambunctious right now. So that should get her to stay still. There we go. So on my Instagram, I've made several videos on true widows. And every now and then I get comments that come from people who don't follow me. Uh, they'll say things like, you know, you wouldn't dare hold a species of true widow. Now, and usually they'll say, you know, you wouldn't hold a, a wild black widow. If you're not sure why I use the term true widow, I highly recommend you go and watch the two videos that I have up on the screen. Uh, I mean, they're just thumbnails, you can't click on them, but you know, go and check them out. I explain why I use the terminology true widow. Um, but yeah, you know, I wouldn't hold a wild black widow, right? Um, so most of the true widows that I have in my collection are actually wild. Although I have some captive bred, the majority are wild caught. And in particular, this one, the one that I'm holding, like I stated earlier, is one of those. So she is wild. So this girl right here, I actually found on October 16th of this year. She was still a juvenile when I first discovered her and she was in her web and using my bare hands, I go and just grab her and, you know, take her out of her web. And I was actually able to get a video of me doing that. So let me put that up on screen for you to see. And so as you just saw in the video, I had no problems in grabbing her. She did not bite me. And so this video, I'm happy I recorded it because it really just shows the docile nature of true widows because I'm sure, as you already know, these spiders are heavily misrepresented and heavily misinformed. They are not the monsters that the media tries to paint them out to be. Although yes, they are highly venomous. You know, most people, they're not going to be able to kill you with one bite. That is just simply fear mongering. Um, I, I also receive a lot of comments like that. People claiming that, you know, I'm holding death in my hands. And it's like, if only you knew how many people actually, you know, suffer from a bite from these spiders. And by suffer, I mean actually, you know, pass away. Now the next thing that I wanted to get into is the pattern on her body as a juvenile. And so I'm going to put up on screen uh, me holding her about 30 minutes after I caught her in her web. So I was able to get a nice recording of her. And as you can see, the pattern is extremely different than, you know, what she has now in her body. She just, you know, is pretty much plain looking and very you know, just mostly jet black with the red hourglass and kind of a red uh, dot on the back of her abdomen as an adult. But as a juvenile, they have some crazy looking markings. I think they look absolutely stunning as juveniles. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys my brand new line of stickers that I have available for sale on my website. All of these are various animals that I drew on paper by hand. 
colored them in, and then converted them into high quality, long lasting, waterproof stickers. Just to give you a quick idea of what they look like up close, here's one of my favorite drawings that I drew of a European Hornet. All of these drawings were achieved by using these markers to color them in. If you're interested in purchasing any of these stickers, you can head on over to my website, calvinwiley.net, or you can hit the link in my description which will send you directly to my website for you to purchase them. Thank you so much to all of those in advance who end up getting one for supporting my small business. And now, back to the video. Now what's cool about Species of True Widows is that uh, it can be kind of confusing sometimes on knowing the exact species because as juveniles, both the males and the females will show some extremely unique patterns on their bodies. And when they become adults, then they kind of lose those patterns, you know, their juvenile patterns. And so it can be hard to, you know, know which species is which because you have to kind of know the patterns on a particular species juvenile form and then know the patterns or, you know, the look of their adult form as well. And not only that, you have to factor into, uh, usually the males and females are sexually dimorphic meaning that they display different characteristic traits and in this case well i mean the main easy one is body size the females are obviously larger than the males but even the patterns on juvenile males and juvenile females they are actually different uh they tend to be different and so it it, it can be very hard and narrowing down a particular species of true widow and so this female southern black widow that i found i kept her and i you know made sure to feed her give her water uh, gave her just a nice suitable enclosure the enclosure if you want to know how to make that super simple and easy you can go and watch uh, this video right here on how to care for a species of true widow but um yeah so I, I mainly fed her mealworms i think i fed her a cockroach once but uh yeah now she was really well kept and so then december 7th that's when i found her as an adult she molted into adulthood and i oops, <laughs> i will post that video so that you can see her exoskeleton that she shed Now, if you saw in the video that I just put up, you would have noticed the red dots on her abdomen, that red patterns. And so what's interesting is that usually when a species of true widow matures into an adult, it has some coloring that kind of stays and lingers for a, ver uh, for a few days and then it will fade away. And so, this right now is, you know, ultimately her final look. And so this is how she will always remain until the end of her life. And so I think it's pretty cool how even as adults, you know, the first few days after molting into maturity, they have some uh, like adult coloring that will kind of linger for, you know, a few days and then will fade out ultimately. And yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't know, these spiders are just so unique and interesting. And to me personally, I just, I absolutely love learning and just keeping them. And it's just, I don't know, <laughs> I love these spiders. Well, that is going to conclude today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, especially me holding a species of wild true widow. You know, as you saw, they are extremely docile and are very reluctant to bite, despite claims of what the media has fed people. But if you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, calvinwiley.net, and I will see you guys in the next video.